What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1576, coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And in fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and here we go. So, <clears throat> this is a short message, but an important one. Uh, comes from Jeff. My name is Jeff. You guys can put the reference down below if you know it. So he goes, hey, Pete, I just saw your video on the checker background check. Remember this one? Although I did just have my second accident. Hope you're okay. First one was my fault. The other was not. Do you think that since I already passed the background check prior to getting on Grubhub and DoorDash, that it would somehow be retroactive? Meaning, would either of these platforms either do another background check or would Checker automatically inform these platforms of the accidents? Thanks again, longtime viewer Jeff. So listen, um, okay. This topic is a little, how do I put this? It's a little uh, hinky. It's a little squirrely, I guess you could say. Because yes and no, all right? Uh, in the past couple of years, there, ha there have been some issues where drivers were approved, uh, passed the background check on Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats, and then, you know, even if they had an accident or something on their, you know, on their account, and then randomly Grubhub, DoorDash, or Uber Eats runs another background check with, without their knowledge, and then they're just magically deactivated. And then they're just like, yeah, you know, we saw that there was an accident on your account, blah, 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 you're a liability. And then they just deactivate you. So it could happen. In my opinion, it's a 50-50 chance. Um, there have even, even been drivers that were on all three platforms, the big three, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats, and were only deactivated from one, but the other two were still fine. It's It just seems like it's luck of the draw, and it's... It, it, it's just, it's wrong. It's really what it is. Um, because again, if there was an accident, let's say that is no fault of yours, you know, it, they still look at you as a liability, like you're a magnet for, for issues, you know? And in my opinion, it's not fair, but what these companies are trying to look at is, is this driver going to be someone that we can count on to get the food or the item from point A to point B successfully? you know, without too many issues. So Jeff, um, just a couple of things to keep in mind. It's a 50-50 chance, like I said, it could happen or it may never happen. I'm, I'm hoping it never happens. Um, and you mentioned that you're on Grubhub and DoorDash, which is good that you're diversifying. But what I would also recommend is that you also get on Uber Eats as well. So God forbid they decide to say, hey, we're gonna deactivate you from DoorDash and Grubhub. You might still have Uber Eats available. Um, because usually once there's an accident, you know, uh, registered with your name, it, it's very tough with these companies to, to get past that, you know, where they don't find it eventually. It's almost like a ticking time bomb, you know, and this has happened to someone like Dino from saying it like it is. You may want to talk to him about it. Um, I believe it was Grubhub that deactivated him and I'm not sure if he ever got back on. Um, so Definitely maybe uh, check his out, check his channel out, saying it like it is, uh, and leave him a comment and see if he can maybe help you out with that and what he did. Uh, there were several other people that wrote in and I made videos about them, um, you know, having this issue with the deactivation from the background check. You know, it just seems like it's a, like a matter of time until it happens and it's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so drivers and dashers, what do you think, what would you recommend Jeff do 
in his particular situation. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Put it in the chat or the comments down below. And of course, if anyone out there ever has any comments, questions, you know, stories, articles, whatever you got, forward them to me. Send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com best way to reach me or for a quicker response you guys can message me through patreon patreon.com forward slash paid to drive that link is in the description down below or the pin top comment uh anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is i give you guys shout outs in all my new videos which i'm gonna do right now so when you hear your name called say hey pete i heard my name we have our tier five driver ron grubb we have John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewett, uh, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, uh, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and Melody Longs. <clears throat> so huge shout outs to every single one of you. Really appreciate you. If you guys want to sign up, like I said, links in the description down below or in the pin top comment. Definitely go and check that out. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be one of you. Let's find out. And of course, moving right along, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment, of course. Click on the link that says get the free gas app. From there, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of uh, phone, tablet, or device you have. From there, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, there's one place you need to go paytodrivestore.com. That link's in the description or the pin top comment, just like all the others. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Definitely go check that out. Links down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much. Leave a comment right now saying, uh, END 1126, END 1126, just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. Uh, and also, are you guys all subscribed to my other channel, uh, Team PTD? Definitely go and check that one out. Uh, lots more pay to drive content. Subscribe over there. Links are down below. Turn on that bell. And of course, leave a like over here. Leave a like over there. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good, a good job. And, uh, let me know, uh, you know, that you did that by leaving a comment saying liked L I K E D. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.